some gel before we get into working. What are you doing on the roof? Today, Breaker Boys Garage, we are replacing this motherfucker. So you need half inch and a 716. And on this side, to undo it, is a 3 8 star bit. So you need a wrench, socket wrench, a couple other wrenches. And basically don't need too many tools for this. And I'm gonna need to get a socket for this too. So here we go, hope you like it. I put a rag down too, cause I don't have anything to drain it in right now. So we're just fucking winging this bad girl. I think I'm gonna start from the back and work my way forward. I did loosen this lock nut right here, but we'll get this off and pretty. Put these over to the side here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And then I'm gonna loosen that one up. Solid little fucking. Uh, I didn't have a 916 wrench on mine. I don't know where it went, so I'm using an 11 on her. Typical Breaker Boys fashion right here. Use what you can get. Know what I'm saying? Might be easier to take your exhaust off too. Just to give you more room, but it's breaker boys, dude. We just do it the way we can, not the way we should. Crack the lock nut, then back this off so we can get this, this brake stem off the bike. And then detach it from this reservoir here. Crack it off just like so. Using a one and one eighth socket for this back nut right here. Let me tell ya, this brake stuff is slipperier than shit balls. Alright. This is the old culprit right here. Time to replace it. Now I need a Phillips head to get up out of here. Usually you can drain it first, but uh, I figured I'd just pull it off and I gotta rebuild this whole thing, so. Should be good. She's been leaking for some time now because it was broken. You pop this off, looks like you need a circlip. So there's another circlip right on this. This little brass one goes on right there on the back of the end of the plunger. And uh, now I just need to take this off. So we got the plunger out of here. It's pretty easy to take the circlip out and just hit it out directional. You don't even need a wrench to do it. And here's the new one right here. So let's take a gander here and see what we can do. You know what I'm saying, dude? So it's directional. You can see inside there, there's a little notch back there. And that notch needs to line up with this notch in the plunger. So, just go ahead and slide that sucker up in there. It's like so. Get that notch on there. Nice and good. It's like so. Slide in. Slap a circlip on here. And you're good to go. So this little brass circlip right here. It's gonna go on there. Like so. Take your little circlip back thing, them jiggies. Pop them wide. Just like, our, just like we like them. And to remind everybody who's watching this, I am not a certified mechanic, so don't ask me to do your shit, because I only do mine. But, if you are watching and you're gonna, you need to do this, I'm sure these videos would help out a lot. I'd watch it. So right there, put that sir clip on right there in this lower groove, and yeah, she's good. We will throw this fucker back in here after we just got our brand new rebuilt. One, super simple. Hope I got it for you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna come in here and slide this sucker up in there. Match up them grooves. Should be good to go. We're gonna take that nut, the locking nut, and lock it back on. I recommend putting a little, little blue Loctite in on this bad boy right here. Next up, throw the brake line back on. Crush washer or whatever on each side. Get it in there. Try to get it in with your fingers first so you don't cross thread it, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, 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 Sam, saying. Cinch her down, bud. Give her a good little farmer torque. Don't want to over torque it too much. She's sitting pretty. Now we move back to this brake rod. Get that sucker in. And yeah, game on, baby. So pretty much just cinch this down to where you get your brake to where you want it to be, you know, and comparison to your foot peg. So I'm gonna go a little bit further on mine. Then just tighten down that locking nut, I'm good to go. And then now I'm going to bleed the system. So yeah, bleed it. Bleed this, we're gonna use this 
little fluid reservoir thing. It's got this end cap that you know goes on this bad boy right here. Hold on, I gotta put this on there and then loosen it up and start sucking it out. What I'm doing here is just bleeding the brake. And as it gets low, I just keep chopping it off. I'm gonna bleed about two reservoirs of this into this whole bottle just make sure all the air is out. Next up, top it off, throw this new cap on. Cap comes with this eyeglass. You just kind of push it in till it's flush with that. And then just insert the, the cap. This cap's got a diaphragm on it, brand new. So we know it's good. It's all clean, I inspected it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that sucker on there. And screw two Phillips in and should be good. Get these good suckers on there. Nice and pretty like. This is enough to get them snug. Don't need to over tighten these. Just get them snug. 